The heavy smoke covering the front of the building makes it clear that this is going to be a long, hard fight. The smoke from the burning rubber makes entry into the building impossible, and a defensive operation is begun at once. The extra alarm companies stretch in to supply the deck guns and hand lines. The heavy streams are positioned around the building to attack the rapidly growing fire. Water pours from the lower levels as men working in the dense, acrid smoke pour thousands of gallons of water into the old building. Eventually, the smoke diminishes to the point that hose lines can be taken into the building. Dozens of firemen have already been injured, and many more will fall as they move in to find the seat of the fire. Smoke inhalation and eye wounds are the most common injuries, but there are also a few men suffering from burns and puncture wounds. Doc Archer, as usual, has been called on the second alarm and has been transported by Ambulance One to the scene of the fire. The son of the president of the Erie Railroad, Harry Archer attended Columbia University and Bellevue Medical College and has volunteered his services at major fires for almost 40 years. As a boy, Harry developed a strong interest in the fire department and was well known in the firehouses near his family's mansion on Fifth Avenue. The first civilian to be awarded a Department Medal for Valor, and now holder of the most prestigious medal of all, the James Gordon Bennett. Honorary Chief Medical Officer Doc Archer continues to tend his injured friends. Although then in his 60s, Harry Archer was not ready to retire. At the annual medal ceremony in 1940, Mayor Fiorello LaGuardia appointed him to his first paid position, second deputy commissioner. But Doc Archer continued his voluntary work as a medical officer. His 60 years of service to New York firefighters began during the time of horses and ended just as the gasoline engine gave way to diesel. As fearless as any New York firefighter, Doc Archer repeatedly risked his own life to rescue others. In 1948, at the age of 78, the good doctor was awarded his fifth and final medal for bravery. One of the most decorated men in the history of the fire department of New York, Harry Mortimer Archer, made his last response to a fire in April of 1954 and passed away a few days later after celebrating his 86th birthday. <laughs>